guys, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome to Parent Tip Tuesday. Today with me we have Rocky, my Harlequin macaw, who is backwards. Do you want to say hi Rocky? Maybe after he eats his hazelnut he'll wave to you guys. Oh yeah, turn around. Rocky, say something. Oh well, he might. Just stay tuned. And I have... Vinny, my gala cockatoo, who, by the way, was like purring right before we started this video. And my mustache parakeet, Picasso. So, guys, today I have a subject for you that I get asked so often on so many different um, videos. I get this question all the time. And that is, how do I bathe my bird? Well, the first thing I would tell you, and this is what I tell most people is, do not panic about stressing out about trying to force your bird to have a bath, okay? So that's the first thing. It's not exactly like a dog where you need to worry about grooming him, and it's not in exactly like the way you would make sure a child has a bath. So get that out of the way. However, bathing is really good for your bird, so I'm going to tell you how to assist your bird in bathing himself, okay? So the first thing is um, a spray bottle. Now, the best thing, look at Rocky, he perked up. He's like, what the heck? I'm not gonna be sprayed right now, am I? Um, contrary to the way he's behaving right now, he actually likes the spray bottle, but at certain times. So the first thing, let's talk about the bottle. You wanna get a bottle that is designated just for your bird and just for water. You don't want anything else to have been in this bottle, okay? Um, if you don't want to buy a new bottle and you happen to have a bottle around, you got to clean it thoroughly, run it through the dishwasher, make sure there is nothing else that could be in this bottle except water. Now on the topic of the water, you want to put warm water in the spray bottle when you spray your bird. Now how do you spray your bird? You want to spray him from above and kind of make like a rain-like rainforest effect for him. He's really gonna like that. Also, on that note, if your bird has like tattered feathers, like if you have a big bird like Rocky and his tail gets in the way of things and you know, kind of gets tattered, some water on his feathers is really, really gonna be good and help that out. Actually, when we first got Rocky, uh, he'd been in the cage a long time, so his feathers were kind of like tattered. And then when we sprayed him with water, they just came really beautifully because then he fixed them and made them so nice. So you can also get like a water bottle that has never had anything in it. They're kind of like a dollar from CVS and stuff like that. So you, that's what I get. That's what I like to spray my birds with. Write bird on it if you need to. You want to make sure that it never gets filled with anything else and that it never gets mistaken with any other bottles. So that's the main thing. Now, yes baby. That's how you can aid your birds in having a bath. When you are spraying your bird, make sure, one, that it's warm outside, that it's warm in the house. Best to spray your bird during the day. You don't want your bird to catch a cold. The first thing I ever learned about birds when I got my bird to take him home was do not give him avocado and do not let him go through a draft. So I took those things very seriously. A drop in temperature for a bird is not really good. So make sure it's summertime when you're giving him most of the baths and that it's daytime so that it's nice and warm outside and nice and warm in your house, okay guys? So now, that's one way to give your bird a bath. I find that to be especially useful with um, Rocky and um, sometimes Picasso, but really Rocky is the one that takes to that kind of bath the best. Sometimes I do that to Jersey because I put like, um, a feather aid to help her soothe like the itchiness of her feathers as you guys know she plugs so sometimes I'll add that to a different bottle just so I don't confuse it with any of the other birds to give them nice you know her a nice soothing feel um, I don't know if you heard her but she was just like ah. so anyway the second way to give your bird a bath is with a bowl um, you can offer your bird a bowl you could put some warm water in it and see if he's interested in stepping in it. Um, you'll know that your bird is enjoying the bath, well, one, if he gets in it, but also if he spreads his wings and dips his head in it. If your bird's not interested in getting into the bowl, 
One thing you can do is put some leaves in there, like some kale and some things that he, green things that he might like to chew or play with. Those things can really help your bird enjoy the bath, um, just so that he gets in there and wants to play around. In my experience, every time I've given my bird a bowl to aid him in having a bath, they've never been interested in it, but um, it's never stopped me from trying. Um, how I know that my birds want a bath is, usually what happens is they have like a bowl with their water in it and they'll start stepping in it, stepping in it, spreading their wings, putting their head in there. When my birds do that, I know that they're having their own bath. The first thing you want to do right after their bath is um, make sure the temperature in the house isn't too hot, make sure it wasn't because of that, and also change their water bowl. You want to make sure that they have fresh clean water to drink. If you want to offer your bird the bowl that we just showed you on the side, then you can do that and see if he's interested. My birds never are. Um, I'm going to tell you real quick how all my birds have baths, okay? Rocky, he takes to the spray. When I bring him in the shower, you guys saw my shower video, I always bring my birds into the shower. He really likes to be close to the water. He loves it. He'll be like on the flat thing right underneath me where he likes to like feel the water and things like that. Vinny does too. Not at the same time. They don't really like get along. But Vinny likes that too. Um, the other birds, Picasso and Jersey, they like to sit on top of the shower and feel the mist from it. They really love that. So if your birds don't ever want to have a bath, least thing you could do is bring them into the shower, watch my shower video, you'll see where I put them all, and um, that way they're getting some mist, their, their skin is getting some moisture, and it's really good for them, okay? Now, if your bird gets soaked, and he is soaked down to the skin, and you feel like you want to dry him, it's cold outside, the first thing you should do is wrap him up in a towel, get all of that excess water off, and as tempting as it may be to blow dry him, you must make sure that you have a Teflon free hair dryer because hair dryers have like this non-stick thing on them which is so not good for your birds. And they do kind of like being blow dry but you got to make sure you have the right hair dryer otherwise it is not good for your bird at all. Also, I was told from some, Rocky's waving now, I was told by some bird professionals that if your bird is a plucker, it's better to let them dry on their own. So always remember though, you don't want to put them to bed cold, you don't want your birds to be freezing at all. So um, there's many different ways to bathe your bird, let's do a recap. We have the spray, we have the spray bottle, we have offering your bird a bowl, we have your bird bathing himself, in his bowl. We have your bird getting some mist from the shower. When Vinny's in my shower, he literally gets under there every so often and like showers himself and he looks like a zestfully clean commercial. And that is his choice. He kind of chooses that on his own. Sometimes Jersey, when she's on top of my shower, she shows interest in coming in and then I'll bring her in when she wants to. My bird Ty, who you guys saw, is my brother's bird. Ty loves showers. Ty will try to get in the shower anytime he can. That's also a really good time to test your bird out and see when how wet he likes to get. Um, remember, if you soak your bird down to the skin, it's they can get really cold. So very important to make it your duty to get them dry. So that's how you shower your birds, guys. Um, hope I didn't forget anything. But they're all different, so do not panic about forcing your bird. Remember, do not use soap on your bird. Um, water is just good enough for your birds. Um, if you must use something to clean your bird, there's cockatoo shampoo. It makes your white birds really, really white. And uh, there's parrot shampoo for other birds. Also, if your bird has like an oil on them that water's not going to get them off, sometimes these things happen, you could use a low glycerin soap. So that's another thing you guys can do. Um, 
And that is all, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We love subscribers. Remember to watch all the other videos. You want to be so informed when you own a bird because there's not so much information out there. Not everyone knows how to take care of them. So do your best to read everything you can and learn everything you can about your birds. Thank you so much for watching. Follow us all over on Instagram. We're at Marlene McCohen. Twitter, we're at Marlene McCohen. And um, we will have a movie out soon, which I guys told you guys about, for just us bird lovers. And I will release that when we have 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. We love you. Bye.